what is Age in Spain and what is the Good Neighbour Award. Today we're going to meet Helen Weir from Age in Spain to tell you all about what they do and also about their wonderful Good Neighbour Award. Stick around till the end, my friend. We always have extra information and news just for you. And don't forget, you can ask us anything in the comments below. In the meantime, gather round. It's time for our little cosmic theme tune. Everybody dance now. Right then, before I bring in our special guest, I have three very quick pieces of important information. Number one, you can help U2 Spain to keep providing you with the oh-so-helpful things you learned today by making a donation through buymeacoffee.com. There's a link in the video description below. Number two, check out our website, u2spain.com. There's more amazing information, some blog articles and loads of resources just for you. Number three, last but not least, if you click on any of those links in the video description below, you'll get loads of discounts on things that you need and also excellent service from our tried and tested partners. And you'll be supporting U2 Spain. For example, if you're buying a house or moving over here or sending your regular pension or investments over, you need Smart Currency Exchange. They're the best currency exchange company with the best service. I know, I use them and they're very good. And the best advice they give you to maximise your spending power and safeguard yourself against the sort of massive currency fluctuations we've been seeing recently all the time. So, use the Smart Currency Exchange link below to get your free account, free advisor, and access to a 24-hour app and a whole range of services. Don't leave it till the last minute. Click on the link today. It's free. Remember, you'll be supporting U2 Spain at no expense to you. It's a win-win, win-win-win. So, without further ado, let's meet our wonderful guest. It's Helen Weir from Age in Spain. Hola, Helen. Hello, Skax. Good to be here again. Well, it's great to have you back on the show. We'll get straight into it today because this is a really short, wonderful show. We're going to learn all about Age in Spain once again and also about this, this competition that you've got going. So, first of all, tell us very quickly about yourself and what you do at Age in Spain. Yes, Age in Spain is a small national charity to help English speakers moving to and living in Spain to live their later life to the full. And we do that by providing information, we encourage integration and to help prolong independence. Excellent. Do you have to be old to take part? No, we don't have to be old at all. Half our customers are under retirement age, particularly for our information services when they're planning to move to Spain or once here, or their family uh, or carers of an older person already here. So making the right decisions when you're younger is key to maintaining independence in old age. Our older customers, as well as using our information services, are also supported by our casework service, which helps people deal with uh, more complex welfare problems, which are often triggered by needing care because they lose capacity or maybe lose a partner, perhaps run into some financial difficulty. So we're here to help older people access the services that are available, including benefits, health and social care. And sometimes if their future here is not sustainable, um, then we help them through the process of returning back home if they choose to do that. We also support UK military veterans and their families to access additional support services from military charities in the UK. Oh, how lovely is that? Are there any other services uh, apart from that? That's the full range, is it? Uh, no, we also have a, a service that we started um, to run during COVID because we realised that many, many people were feeling particularly isolated. And so we now have our Friendline telephone support service. And this is particularly aimed at older people who receive a regular weekly call from our trained volunteers. Oh, that must be lovely for them. Yeah, we're currently doing about 100 hours of calls a month. Um, so our volunteers are very busy and the uh, the friendships can develop. And so they can become, you know, a lifelong friendship. 
And that you say this is all volunteers. And what about the funding you get? Uh, you must be dependent on public support all the time. We are completely dependent upon public support. We have a team of 50 volunteers and we need donations from the public to keep our services going. We don't get any regular government grants. We do get support from some companies who will give us donations, but it's the money that people give us individually that really, really makes the difference. So how can people donate then? So if you go on to our Age in Spain webpage, which is www.ageinspain.org, there is a donate button on every single page of the website. And you can pay by credit card or PayPal and the, the normal and also bank transfer. Excellent. I'm going to put the link to that down below the video in case Fantastic. anybody missed that. But it's basically agingspain.org. Remember the org bit and you're fine. And uh, it's a lovely website, actually. It's very, very clear. Right then, I promised the viewers we'd talk about this wonderful award you've got going at the moment. And there's a prize that goes along with it, too. So tell us all about the Good Neighbour Award and how we can nominate someone special. Yes, it's the Age in Spain Good Neighbour Award. It's just been launched. The closing date is the 5th of December, which is International Volunteer Day. And this is what it's all about. We want your viewers to help us find the best neighbour in Spain, a person who's done them a good turn, who maybe has gone the extra mile on their behalf or made a positive contribution to the local community. A person who deserves to be recognised for what they've done for others. There are kind souls all over the country who are helping others to lead fuller lives, offering practical help or emotional support, and we'd like to hear about them and acknowledge what they're doing for other people. The winner will receive a formal letter of recognition from the UK Ambassador to Spain, Hugh Elliott, who is chairing our international panel of judges, and the winner will be treated to dinner for two to celebrate their award. That is lovely. Do they get to choose where they do the dinner? Yes, well, it, we will arrange that depending on where the winner is, because obviously Spain is a very big country. Mm -hmm. And I must say that the nominee, i.e. the person who is nominated, must be living in Spain. That is such a great idea. I'm sure that everyone can think of someone who's done a, a good deed like that that deserves real recognition. Are you going to publish some of the nominations afterwards? Because that would make a good heartwarming read for everyone. The, the closing date is the 5th of December and the decision will be taken in January and then published uh, in, in February. And yes, we will have some lovely good news stories uh, to share there. Wonderful. Maybe I'll do a special show on that and, uh, and we can display some of them on the show and uh, point everybody towards where they can find them on the website. That'd be great. That'd be a really good idea. There's yeah. a nomination form on our website www.ageinspain.org and uh, you will see you can click on that and then you will see right in the middle of the screen uh, at the top good neighbor award click on that and you can make your nomination there it just takes a minute or so if you don't have access to the web page you can also email info at ageinspain.org and if you don't have access to the internet you can call our info line, which is our telephone inquiry service. And the number is plus three, four, if you're outside of Spain, 932-209-741. Lovely. And I'll display all of those pieces of information below the video in case you didn't get to write it down. So there we go. Anything else? No, that's it. And thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to spread the word, Scats. You're very, very welcome. It's been an absolute pleasure. So it's time to say a huge thank you and give Helen a big virtual hug and a wave goodbye. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you, then. And just a reminder to everybody, you can ask questions in the comments below this video and I can pass them on to Helen. Or, of course, you can contact via the links below and all of the contact details that I said we'd provide there. So thank you very much, Helen, and goodbye for now. Bye bye. Right then, next week's Wednesday video is going to be a corker. So keep an eye out for that and for the YouTube shorts that I've started putting out. They're less than a minute long. They're loads of fun. Watch them and share them around to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click all on the notifications bell and you'll be the first to know what's coming up every week. And 
I'll see you next Saturday for the live show at our regular time of nine o'clock in the morning if you're in the UK or Ireland or the Canary Islands or 10 o'clock in the morning if you're in Spain or Central Europe. I can't wait. My lovely wife Liz says hi. You can join her for free virtual yoga and meditation on her YouTube channel, which is called U2 Yoga and Aromatherapy. The link is below with all of the other ones. Well, that's all for this week. Someone pass around the tapas. I've got the munchies, as always. Peace and love. Oh, let's do one more little cosmic dance. Here's the theme. Come on. Bye. (laughs) 